Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over acid and base ionization constants. So that's also known as Ka or Kb. And what they are, are a specific type of Keq or um, equilibrium constant. So exactly what is Ka? It is the value of the equilibrium constant expression for the ionization of a weak acid. So if you have a strong acid or strong base, you are not going to use Ka or Kb. It is used only um, for weak acids and bases. So, moving on to a different window, let's do um, just a quick example. So, when we do Ka, it's just like finding KEQ, where we have to do the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants equals the uh, Ka or KEQ. And if we have HCl, we need to first write an ionization reaction. So this is aqueous because it can dissolve in water. And when we write an ionization reaction, we have to add H2O, or an amphoteric substance, which is liquid. And this acid is going to give an H+. Therefore, it forms Cl- minus aqueous plus H3O plus aqueous. So that's our ionization equation. Once we have that, we can now write our Ka expression. So Ka equals our products over reactants. Concentration of Cl minus times the concentration of H3O plus divided by the concentration of HCl. We have to remember that in a equilibrium expression, we can only write or include the aqueous and gaseous substance. If you have a liquid or solid, you omit it. So this liquid, H2O, we are not going to include. So Cl minus times H3O plus divided by HCl is our Ka. Doing another example, what if we have a base? Well, then you find the Kb. Kb is for base, Ka is for acid. All right, so Just looking for an example. Oh, there's one right there. So that is C6H13. NH2 is a base. I have it plopped right there. We want to write the ionization equation first. The base can dissolve in water, so it's aqueous. We will dissolve it in water, so we add H2O liquid. And since this is a base, it's going to receive an H plus instead of give. So it's going to form C6 H13 NH3 plus plus OH minus. And both of these guys are aqueous. This is AQ. All right. And then to write our KB expression. It's going to be products over reactants, and we omit all of the solids and liquids. So in that case, it's C6H13NH3 plus times OH minus divided by C6H13NH2, the actual base. And that's our Kb expression. So when we actually get a value for Ka, what does it mean? Basically, if we have a small Ka or Kb, it means that we have a weak acid or base. If we have a strong Ka, or not a strong, uh, a high Ka or Kb, then the acid or base is stronger. So the larger the Ka, the stronger the acid. The larger the Kb, the stronger the base. The larger the Ka or Kb, the more ionization occurs, therefore the stronger it is, although it's not necessarily considered a strong acid or base, um, because it would have to ionize completely for that to occur. And that's ionization constants.